Are you going places or left behind because you don't have a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Travel Best will bring you the best answers, tips and her mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Independent Travel Guide. This is for women who are seeking new adventures through travel, maybe at a new stage in life, and need self-confidence to get going. I wrote and published the best-selling World's First Guide to Independent Travel. And since 1993, I've been preparing to guide you with your next travel experiences. Let's make your travel the very best. The second edition of the guide will be available in several months, so stay tuned for news. Our show notes are all available at Dr. Mary Travel Best at blogspot.com. In this episode, the FAQ is, what's my least favorite trip? The destination is Disneyland's California Adventure. That's part two. And my mistake is being directionally challenged. The travel tip is on dental and travel. Here's the FAQ. Diane recently asked Dr. Travel Best, what's my least favorite trip? Well, this is a hard one. So I thought long and I finally decided the one I never arrived at. I spent a weekend trying to get to the East Coast and never landed there. The time was spent in airports, on planes, and in hotels, but I was not happy with the end result. My suitcases arrived on the East Coast, but I did not. It was a weekend trip. I left early on Friday from San Diego, made Houston okay, but due to weather, the plane was grounded. Finally, we did take off the next day, but we never landed in the right city. We just flew over it and then went back west and landed in New Orleans. Now it was Sunday and I missed my event, so I went home instead. So part two on our destination is Disney's California Adventure in Anaheim, California. I think it's the second best park in the area. It's just across the plaza from the first. You can get a park hopper ticket for just a little more money, or you can get a multiple day ticket and then attend one park a day. That's what I did. You should download the app and get to know the geography because you'll be doing a lot of walking these days. Be sure to have comfortable shoes and a positive attitude about crowds. So where do you park? Well, the parking is $25 a car. So if you're at a nearby hotel, just use Lyft or Uber and you'll save. We parked two miles away and it costs under $10, plus no lines. So what's great about California Adventure? It has things for more adults than does Disney. There's no character meetups with Donald Duck. The rides are not so traditional as the original park. Most of them are newer. And you can get a fast pass, just like at Disneyland, every two hours. You can also buy a max pass at both parks. So what are the best rides at California Adventure? Well, I believe it's soaring. It was global when I was there, but you may see something else. It seems they changed the content between global soaring and California soaring. It's an unforgettable ride if you like travel. You'll be going further than you imagine and almost touch the places, smell the food and feel the wind rush past you. It was too short, but otherwise a great ride. I was there on a holiday weekend and I saw and heard a gospel music competition that was all black, very soulful. It was indoors in a theater, this section normally set up for Frozen. So this experience can be a good respite for you if you want to be inside and in air conditioning. We did not do the Guardians of the Galaxy ride due to the long line. It was about an hour and a half. Yes, an hour and a half wait. So getting around this park is easy if you use the technology. It will actually tell you how long the wait is. And you can judge for yourself if it's worth going there or not. Another thing about California Adventure is that alcohol seemed to be served throughout the park in about a dozen locations. They even have a Sonoma-themed restaurant and winery. It's a smaller scale. So since my last visit, things have been changing up there. There's a whole new section for movie cars. And I really, really love the Redwoods and the Boudin Bakery tour with bread samples. That was good. Incredibles roller coaster. Wow, that made me feel pretty dizzy. I took the single line. That's a lot faster than the regular line. And then we went on this orchestra ride. That was pretty good too. But I felt a little dizzy after both of these. I'd 
kind of wanted to take a break off of rides after these. The highlight of California Adventure was chicken tenders at the Western Roundup restaurant near Soaring. I recommend that you get those. We did bring in some trail mix and fresh fruits and plenty of water bottles, so we kept refilling our water. So be sure you have some snacking items to enjoy. Here's today's mistake, directions. Directions are not my thing. I am so bad on directions. People I love are calling me directionally challenged, and I think they're right. I've got to fix this. How can I be helpful giving advice to millions of women, but not be able to find my own directions? It's a challenge, and I'm going to be taking that on this year. You'll find out in upcoming episodes, how am I going to better acclimate to a new area quickly? I'm really going to work on this. And here's some travel advice. Dental care. If you're going on a long trip, get to your dentist to give you a checkup first. If you need any work, try to get it done before you leave. Once you're traveling, there may be little you can do to avoid the pain of those teeth. A mobile dental hygiene service in your travel destination could be found on the internet. There's something called Smiles on Wheels that can come to your door, your hotel room, but be sure you check the reviews and that they're licensed and that it's current. You'll also find dental tourism available in some countries that promises savings of a lot of money, but I don't know how reliable they are. So today, I want to bring meaning to your travel. Thank you for sharing this edition of the world's first guide to independent travel. If you want to know more, just search me out. You'll find me on the web, social media, and audio formats. We're on 13 different channels now. Helping women travel best is my goal. Please send me your travel questions so I can help you. And I'm looking to find out what's on your bucket list. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is. 